After we develop our TLC plate, we need a method to visualize the spots that are on the plate. Now, one of the most convenient ways of doing that is to view the plate with a UV lamp because most uh, commercial TLC plates have been treated with a fluorescent compound and any organic uh, compounds which are on the plate will quench that fluorescence and they'll show up as these dark spots. However, not everything will appear uh, with the UV lamp, so it's nice to have some other methods for uh, visualizing the spots. One possibility is to expose your TLC plate to iodine vapors, and so you can put some iodine crystals into a jar and put your plate in there. Uh, here we have some silica gel which has uh, iodine adsorbed onto it, and so as it's exposed to the vapors, the iodine will deposit onto the organic compounds, and you can see some spots show up. So um, much like the UV, I would take this out and I would circle my spots right away because eventually the iodine is going to evaporate back off, sublime back off, and the um, also beware that the iodine vapors are an irritant, so you want to make sure you do this in a well-ventilated area. And another method for visualizing spots is to use a dip or a spray. Uh, there are a variety of dips that you can use, and this one is an anisodehyde dip. There are some that are special for certain compounds like amino acids. We could use a ninhydrin uh, spray for that. And what we're going to do is we're going to uh, dip our plate into this. We're going to make sure we wipe off any excess because usually these dips are quite caustic and they have a lot of acid in them. In fact, you could even just spray the plate with sulfuric acid. And when we heat this up, we're going to see the spots uh, char and come out and visualize that way. So I'm using a heat gun. You could also use a hot plate to heat this up. And what's interesting about using these dips is we can see that while both of these spots look the same uh, under UV, we can tell that one of them actually turns yellow with the anisaldehyde dip, so that would be a much better way of identifying uh, this compound in our mixture.